the Eldridge procedure was introduced in 1934 with the aim of keeping the fallopian tubes intact and at the same time achieve tubal ligation. In a way, this was a technique of temporary sterilization such that successful reversal and pregnancy could be attained easily if required. However, this was not to be. Why? I will explain it in the next slide. Unlike other methods, the technique of ligation in this method remains confined to the femoral ends. The technical minutiae of this method are as follows. The femoral end of the fallopian tube is drawn into a pocket beneath the peritoneum of the broad ligament. The end is then secured in place by several traction sutures of non-absorbable suture material. It is closed by tying a purse string suture around it. This circle of sutures incorporates the serosal and muscular layers of the fallopian tube in the peritoneum of the broad ligament. Care must be taken to ensure that the entire fibrillated portion of the fallopian tube is firmly held beneath the peritoneum. The problem is that over time the fibria get fibros and reversal is not successful. Following the introduction of this procedure, numerous failures were reported and the procedure has not been popular in recent years. If you want to know more about different methods of female sterilization, Please read my popular book, Practical Obstetrics and Gynecology.